Good afternoon and welcome to today's last news with the most relevant and important information of the day. The latest news learned during the morning that the Attorney General's office dismissed and disqualified former Governor of San Andres Providence and Santa Catalina, Auri Socorro Guerrero Bui, for a period of eight years. According to the investigation between August and October 2012 and all of 2013 and a large part of 2014 and 2015, the auditing of an agreement entered into in 2012 with the IPS Universidad de Antioquia was not contracted. The Attorney General's office dismissed and disqualified for eight years the former governor of San Andres, Providence and Santa Catalina, Auri Socorro Guerrero Boy, who was the governor of the islands for the period from 2012 to 2015 for not having the audit to ensure the proper execution of a contract. The former candidate to the House of Representatives, Carlos Bryan, filed a request to revoke the registration of the candidate Mendez last March. In the last hours, it was known that the request was admitted in the National Electoral Council. Last March 22nd, former candidate to the House of Representatives, Carlos Brian Uribe, denounced presumed irregularities in the elections of March 13th in our archipelago. At the time and before the cameras of this news agency, the former candidate stated that he questioned to a great extent some acts presented during the elections in Providence, for which he filed before the National Electoral Council a request for the revocation of the registration of the then candidate for the Cambio Radical Party, Jorge Méndez. This is what former candidate Carlos Bryan said at the time. Lo que nosotros hemos hecho como grupo es... What we have done is to go to the due process, but here we have to speak clearly. We are making some claims before the respective authorities in this case because of everything that happened in Providence, where there are six tables in which the voters exceeded 50% of the electoral capacity, and this is something that the software alerts then. The duty was to count the tables to verify that indeed the vote was cast. The third place is that in Providence, the chain of custody was broken. We have evidence that the delegate of the registrar's office counted the votes, which is illegal. We have the videos where the tri-key ballot box has only one key. In view of these facts, it was informed that today, the National Electoral Council admitted the revocation request since it met the legal requirements of timeliness and formality and proceeded to notify those involved in the case. It is expected that in the next few days, the process will move forward. OCAD approves 12,000 million pesos to implement four projects that will benefit more than 920,000 people in six departments, including San Andres. In recent days, the Collegiate Body of Administration and Decision for Science, Technology and Innovation approved more than 12,000 million from the general royalty system for the execution of four projects from two open bidders operated by Min Science. For the Environment and Sustainable Development Car for proposals, 5,684 million was approved for the implementation of three projects to be executed by the Corporation for the Sustainable development of the archipelago of San Andres, Providence and Santa Catalina, the Universidad Piloto de Colombia and the Universidad Tecnológica de Pereira. For the call for doctoral training in the regions, one project was approved for 6.4 thousand million, which will be executed by the Universidad de Caldas and is expected to benefit 64 doctoral students. These projects will benefit approximately 960,000 people in six departments of the country and will generate approximately 162 direct jobs and 81 indirect jobs. Regarding the project approved for the department, it should be noted that the
exploitation of the potential of seawater through the development of a prototype for the production of alternative energy coupled to a seawater desalination system on San Andres Island, executed by the Corporation for the Sustainable Development of the Archipelago of San Andres, Providence, and Santa Catalina for a value of 1,114 million from the SGR, benefiting 1,330 people. And more than 12,000 million have been collected in just one month since the state government began tax reliefs. For the month of May, the reliefs were with 20% discount. And from today, which is the beginning of the month of June, the discount will be a 15%. This is an opportunity for the community to take advantage and pay their taxes. Now it will be easier because from today the 15% discount on taxes start. The Secretary of Finance gave a positive report regarding the amount collected during the month of May. From the 1st of May until the 31st of May, some tax reliefs of practically 20% were granted. For this 20%, a collection of approximately 12,100 million pesos was achieved from industry and commerce, property, automobiles, and guidelines. Now, this ordinance is for three months. Currently, the tax relief that starts today, June 1st, is 15%. And for the month of July, it will be the 5% discount. The invitation made by the Secretary of Finance, Luis Villoria, is to the community to take advantage of this benefit and catch up with their taxes. And the Secretary of Public Utilities and Environmental Services continues with the administration and care of the Municipal Animal Shelter. Left without an operator, the Secretary of Public Services is in charge of the operation of the Municipal Animal Shelter, which continues to carry out maintenance and attention activities at the site, guaranteeing a friendly place for the canines, equines and felines, which have received veterinary care. The Administration Departamental viene realizando el... The departmental administration has been operating the departmental shelter directly with its contractors. This is done while the contracting of an operator that should be in charge of the administration of this shelter is achieved through a bidding process. Last week, we received the visit of the environmental prosecutor and a judge of the Republic who were able to see the work being done by the departmental administration. They evidenced improvements where a good job is being done by the government, which with the collaboration of private companies has managed to take care of the feeding of the animals that are in the shelter. It is worth mentioning that the Secretariat of Public Services and Environment will be in charge of the operation until the hiring of an operator that meets the requirements for the maintenance and care of the canines, equines and felines that are in the shelter is achieved. And the national vaccination plan against COVID-19 continues in the department. Here are more details on the progress of this tragedy on the island. Vaccination campaigns against COVID-19 continue in the department. The Departmental State Social Enterprise reports that they already have the biologicals for the application of the fourth dose or second booster dose for those over 50 years of age. The entity gave a report on the progress made in the immunization against the virus in San Andres. Currently in the department, we have applied 75,167 doses, of which we have 29,171 first doses, 26,685 second doses. For the first booster, we have a total applied of 18,076, and for the second booster, we have a total of 313. We continue to invite everyone to come to the tent at the hospital to receive their first dose or booster of COVID-19 vaccination. We are at the tent from Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. and on Saturdays, Sundays and holidays from 8.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. We extend an invitation to minors and caregivers to come and complete their vaccination schedule. The health entity specifies that currently the department is within the territories with the highest vaccination rate, but also much of the island community has not completed its scheme. And for that reason, citizens are invited to approach the state social enterprise to be vaccinated against COVID-19. Desde marzo del 2020, 72,182 familias económicamente afectadas por el COVID-19 se beneficiaron con alivios financieros. El Fondo Nacional del Ahorro nos mueve lo que sueñas.
And now let's get to know other facts that today are making news in our brief news section. The Cooperation for the Development of the Archipelago of San Andres, Providence, and Santa Catalina, Coralina, conducted a cleanup activity in the Old Pine Mangrove Regional Park, where waste collection and cleaning of pedestrian paths were performed. The environmental entity invites our visitors to not litter in the park and to keep silent during their visit. The Secretariat of Agriculture and Fisheries reminds artisanal and industrial fishermen, fishing companies, fish product marketers, restaurants, authorities, and the community in general that the lobster close season is in force from March 1st, 2022 until June 30th, 2022 in the area of San Andres Island according to Resolution 090 of 2016. The capture, marketing, and consumption of this resource is prohibited. As part of the commemoration of World Tobacco Free Day, the Secretariat of Health, through the Dimension of Chronic Non-Communicable Diseases and the Colombian League Against Cancer, held a training session with coordinators of educational institutions in the department, where the use of electronic cigarettes and their harmful effects were discussed, as well as the importance of transmitting to students the risk of contracting lung diseases due to tobacco use.